Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, or Budget Me Jess. Um, I am a 33-year-old, almost forgot my age, uh, cash budgeter. Um, I am located in Southern California. I am. I do get paid bi-weekly, so what I started doing this year is that I am splitting up my paychecks, so I am cash stuffing every week. Um, by the first week, it seems like it's working out for me. We'll see how it keeps going for the rest of the year. If it's something that I'm going to keep being able to do. Um, so far, it seems like it is working out. Uh, so yeah, so let's get started. Today, we're going to be cash stuffing $804. Um, everything has already been taken out for my bills or whatever I needed to pay for this pay period. So today, we're just cash stuffing, sinking funds, cash envelopes, and all of that. So it should be $804. So let's get started. 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. I'm sorry if you hear the ball. My dog is playing. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 20, 40. <coughs> 10, 20, 30. I apologize for that. She wants me to throw the ball at her. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So it's eight hundred and four dollars. So let's get started. I want to get started with their cash envelopes. So, okay, so I already depleted um, eating out groceries. Groceries is also not getting anything this week because I already spent the money from last week and this upcoming week. So eating out will get some. So this is what I have left from this week. The miscellaneous, we have $6. So I do usually use my credit card for points and all of that. And I usually pay myself back. So sometimes I do feel like paying in cash. It's very rare. Um, I rather use my credit card to get the points. It just works out better for me in that way. And I just I pay off my card before the statement closes. Um, so for a gas, we have 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. This is the only one that I do roll over. So I'm going to roll over 30 and I'm going to, 14 is going to go into my savings challenges. And I will show you what I do with that. And then personal. Oh. Pass. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm not rolling over anything. So, together. Twenty, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty. 2, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So we have $39 left. And they're going to go into, this is my savings challenge binder. And I have these little um, envelopes. I will have them linked below. And you can, you know, do it. Do like your own savings challenges. And I like to roll over whatever I have. So there is $10 how there is 10 I think I did my math wrong for this hold on because I had to refilm one so I had I'm sorry I had to fix my dollars because I know it was not correct I I, cause I since I had to refilm this I was missing some different denominations but I think I figured it out so we have actually 110 going in here we have three fives. It's still the same amount of money, just my denominations was wrong and I didn't want it, it to mess up everything else. And 14 ones. 
And then every so often, I'll probably unstuff these. I'm not very sure. I just started last month in December. And I did, I wanted to start fresh for the new year. So I did deplete them. And I did end up getting a good amount of money just for that one month. So we'll see how far it goes. Okay, so now to cash stuffing my envelopes. So gas is going to go first. Sorry if this table is moving. It's going to get $15. Okay, so in total we have 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. 43 44 45 so my gas is a four cylinder it is a rogue um it doesn't waste that much money i live about six miles away from my job um so i don't need to fill up all the time most of the time i just go to work and come home maybe go to the grocery store and all of that doesn't i that's why i like to leave a little bit i don't i like to roll over some of it in case i do decide to go out some places during the week or uh, during the weekend so I kind of have it but even that most of the time I don't end up using all of my money and that is a blessing that I don't live that far so yeah so that's why it doesn't get that much so the next one is going to be eating out and it's going to get 40 one, two. it's only one three, two, three, 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 four. I'm missing a dollar ten 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So it's getting 40. Um, it's getting a little bit more than it. No, it's getting about the same. I'm going on vacation next week. So I might not be cooking so much next week. So I want just want to have enough money in case I have to buy out food, which I hope I don't have to. But I'm going to try to eat my groceries so they don't go bad. So personal gets 60. Six, two, one. And I'm putting a little bit more than I would for um for a week. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Because my cousin got me a uh Stranger Things Experience ticket thing for um for Christmas. Because we did Secret Santa and I was she was my secret Santa. So she got it for her and I. We're stranger, we're really big Stranger Things fans. I would did not want to jump on the boat. I was I remember when it first came out, I tried to like get into it and I couldn't. And then I stopped. And then once I had COVID this past summer and I was stuck at home and I did not know what to do. So I ended up binging binge watching Stranger Things and I fell in love with it. It's such a great show. I'm so sad that I did not give it a chance when I could. It was a little bit scary for me at first. I think that's why I didn't want to watch it. But I loved it. And it's so crazy watching them grow between that time. Like so fast. It was like really mind boggling. But I love it. I'm so happy she got it for me. I'm so excited to go today. Te technically. And hopefully it's going to be so much fun. So that's why I want to put a little bit more. Because I don't know what the ticket is included with. Um, and I don't know exactly what it is. I just know Stranger Things, things experience. Um, it is here in LA. Um, I don't know if they have it in other cities, but they have it here. And I remember I wanted to go for my birthday in November and she kind of didn't want to go with me. So yeah, I'm glad she got it for me. So then now we're going to do mis mis miscellaneous. It's going to get three fives. And then we're not going to be stuffing groceries because I already spent it. I went to Costco and it was, you cannot spend a little bit of Costco. So I ended up just using whatever I was going to use this week, which is fine. Okay, so we're going to start off with this binder, which has like stuff in my Capital One savings stuff and just random stuff that I save for. So... Disney is going to get a 10 and this is for Disneyland. I do live in Southern California. I do have an annual pass to Disneyland so I do go often. I haven't been able to go as of late because I was blacked out for the holidays sadly but I am on block now just because but now I'm having this vacation so I don't know exactly when I'm going to go back but I am a spender when I go. I do like to buy merch. I like to buy food and I like to buy drinks. I end up really wasting a lot of money so i'd rather save up for it than just go and literally spend my whole paycheck and hopefully it works so right now we have 100 110 115 116 
I know, that, like Disney adult, but it's so much fun. And I go with my mom, my tia, and my cousin, and it's always the four of us, and it's always so much fun. Okay, so Fur Babies now gets 50, and this is for my two dogs. This envelope is basically for their vet meat, and they get allergy shots every month. It's about $70 each. I have two, 140. I also do have insurance for them, but I have to meet the $250 deductible for each of them. Uh, and I think I'm going to meet it this one. So they will be reimbursing me, I think, 70% of whatever I pay for each one. So whatever I get reimbursed, I will reimburse it back to their envelope. But I do have to pay for it up front first. So that is the only issue. So they are due actually next week for their shot. So I need to save up for it. For right now, they have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125, 125. 130, 135, 136, 137. So it should be around 140. So I just need three more dollars. Go. Household doesn't get anything. Beauty doesn't get anything. And these envelopes are so cute. I'm actually getting some for the ones in the back, but they haven't got here yet. And they're just so adorable. I'll have them linked down below. Toiletries is getting 15. Two, three, four, five. And this is getting it because since I am going on vacation, I'm going to Hawaii. Um, this is just for whatever I need to buy. I do need to buy like a hair mask and stuff because if I don't think I'm gonna get on the water, but just in case my hair gets wet. Okay, so now toiletries have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So I already have things in my cart at the, at the Target that I need. So that's what I'm going to pay for it for. Then this is my buffer for my debit card. Um, I'm doing a little challenge for it to save up for $450. I already has, I have just started it this year. So it's going to have about to have only 20 but I do have already a buffer in my actual debit card and I did have money in here before. So yeah, but I do want to get it to a good amount. So right now I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130. Now I'm not really sure how much I have in my debit card. I have to check, but I think it has about another $150. So that's a good start. So the next one, it's going to be pets again. <laughs> So this is for their food, toys, treats, and all that good stuff. So they're getting 10. 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, 135. So there's 25 in here and I believe there's 30 something in the bank. So they have around 50, 60 dollars. That's for their food and I do need to re get their food before I leave. Hair, gonna get 25. I have a hair appointment at the end of this month. So this is gonna go towards that. Then I have 130 in the bank. And here I have 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. 38, 39, 40. So I have 170 in total. And my hair appointment is usually around 200 to 250 with tip. So I have about $70 to go. If my math is mathing, kind of. I'll be almost done. Okay, so that is it for this envelope. Then we're going to move on to my other envelope, which usually has everything that I have in my allies savings account and I have buckets for them. Okay, so we're going to start off with vacation. This is what I'm spending in Hawaii. Also, just in vacation in general. I also have another vacation coming up in February. I'm going to New York. So whatever I don't spend in Hawaii, it's going there. But I'm still putting money with my next paychecks with these. So I did pay my dog's boarding out of vacation so i am paying myself back so with that it's 302 dollars 
$302 that I'm paying myself back because I think it was $624. I paid $337 last week. I'm paying $302 this week. So, one, two, three. This is chest, and then two. So this is just for paying myself back for the dog boarding. Plus, additionally, I'm putting $120 into this. Two, four, six, eight, ten, 120 of just saving up. So I have actually 624 in my Ally Bank. So I have a $500 bill and this is a fake 100 and then we have so we have 624 one two three one two three three fifty twenty forty sixty eighty 100 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80 300 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So I have $1,716. Um, I don't think I'm going to use all of this for Hawaii. Hopefully I don't have to, but whatever I don't use is getting rolled over to my vacation in February for New York. That one's going to be pricey. I don't know if I'm going to deposit this to the bank. I'm going to be using my credit card out there and then paying it back with this. So, um, I might deposit it because I don't want to have this much money here when I'm not home. So I might end up depositing it in the bank. We'll see. Okay, so then we're going to move on to I don't know my about my denominations right now. So let's move on to actually we'll do Christmas. So Christmas is going to get 50 and well, Christmas just passed, so 50. Education is going to get 15, two, three. So, um, I have my AA. I want to start applying for the nursing programs. Um, so I'm doing that for the spring of, no, I'm sorry, the fall of 2023. So applications are starting to open up. There is some that are already open um, with the community colleges. I want to try as many as I can of driving distance that will, I would be comfortable with before even attempting to apply to private schools. So in addition to me like applying to these programs, I have to transfer my transcripts to a lot of the schools that I'm going to be applying to. So that costs money. It's sometimes like $5 per school. I've technically took classes in about three schools so I have to kind of uh, maneuver that so that this is what the money is going to be for that also I do have to take a tease exam for some of the schools prior so this will I would have to pay for it so this would be used for that as well as because of the tease I am doing like a pocketbook um, app for me to study with and that is about $15 a month right now so I'm also doing that maybe I was going to do that for just three months um, until I end up taking the T's and see how I do so I want to get all of that done and then as eventually when all of that is done and I'm applying I'm done applying in the meantime you know I will be saving up just to actually pay for the classes I'm hoping to get accepted to one of them hopefully fingers crossed uh, praying to God that it does happen for me uh, you know whatever is yours will be so I have a lot of faith in that so yes so right now this, this is how much I have 20 25 30 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 dollars so all good vibes 
all good everything is well appreciated to be sending this way um you know if it's I, I am 33 years old so i think i'm only gonna do one round if for whatever reason i don't get accepted i might pull the plug and actually do the private school way i don't want to i want that to be my last resort so i'm being very hopeful okay so then nala and tinker which are my dogs this is their emergency fund apart from everything else that i have for them um I just you just never know um knock on wood i never have to use it but it's just nice to have so they have 300 dollars in the bank i'm doing a savings challenge because i actually want to get them to a thousand dollars so right now they have one two three two four oh i'm sorry no two four fifty fifty five fifty fifty five sixty sixty five 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. And we're going to add 20. So now they have $400. We're all well on our way, girls. I don't know if I have to do a condensing video. I need to also update my trackers because I'm getting confused. Okay. So then the next one will be my emergency fund. So I do have $970 in the bank and I'm going to add 30. I had $1,170, $1, but um, a very tragic thing happened to one of my coworkers and there was a GoFundMe started um, and I ended up donating $200 to that. I just... It wasn't in the budget, but I'm like, I need to pull it from somewhere. And it was my emergency fund. I just knew that I had to do it. It doesn't matter. It's fine. So I want to get it up to a thousand again. I'm only 30 away. So I'm going to put $30, but I'm going to actually deposit the $30 and, and I'm going to put a $1,000 placeholder in here. So we're up to a thousand again. And these will also be linked in my, um, down in the description. Okay, so now I'm going to do tags. And these are for my car tags. And they're going to get 15. That's 10, 15. Sorry, my dog is growling. I have a hundred dollars in the bank. So right now we have 100, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145. My tags are due in the end of May, I believe. Last year there were about four hundred dollars and something, so hopefully it goes down to three hundred, but I'm very doubtful. So whatever it is, I have a little bit of time, but we're almost there. And then this is what I want to deposit, which should be 30. $20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Somehow $2 left, and then you find out where they came from. Uh -huh. We'll see where those came from. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I rambled on so much. This is my second attempt to film this video. So thank you so much for watching. It, I truly appreciate it. Um, if you can, please subscribe, um, like the video, comment, or whatnot. Um, it would really help my channel and help me. Um, any of my links about my fetch rewards and whatnot will be linked down in the bio below uh if that is helpful to you it would be helpful for both of us okay guys well i don't know if i'm gonna have a cash stuffy next week since i am leaving on thursday maybe i'll have one it's not money that i'm technically going to use until i come back so it might be small again i'll see if i can film it on wednesday and have it uploaded by friday um and have everything edited out for you guys i'm hoping i can um if not i'll see you the week after that from whatever reason i cannot do it 
But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great New Year's Day. And I hope that 2023 is an abundance of joy for everybody. And just we all meet our savings goals, our, our debt journey, and everything like that. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.